welcome everybody back to my channel. Welcome my new subscribers, my returning subscribers, and anyone new who may be watching this video. So today we're going to do a pick a card reading, uh, messages from your future spouse. So the first pile is with the golden universal tarot, and this is with the malachite mushroom here. Second pile is with the mermaid tarot deck, and this is with the turquoise mushroom here. And the third pile is with the dark mansion tarot, and this is with the adventuring mushroom. So whenever you have picked your pile, the timestamps will be in the description box below. Thanks. Welcome everybody who picked pile number one with the golden universal tarot deck and the malachite mushroom here. So we're going to see what uh, messages we can get from your future spouse. So the first card we have is the Hierophant. Then we have the Hermit. We have the King of Swords. And then we have the Nine of Cups. So what I'm getting, your future spouse here has been thinking a lot about when he's going to find you, when, when's someone going to come into his life that's going to fulfill all his wishes that he has. I believe that this person is in authority, so they could deal with law, a cop, a social worker, something to do with the government. But they've been really thinking about this a lot, when they're going to find this person, and when are the opportunities going to open up for them to meet the right person. So they are thinking about you a lot and wondering where you are. So we have the Ten of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Fool, and then we have Justice. So this person really wants to get married. I think maybe there could be a lot of pressure on him, maybe, that he could be f trying to figure out... He's trying to figure out, really, like, when is this person going to come into his life? Like, he really wants a relationship. Maybe I feel that he could have had a hard time in his past, and it put a lot of stress on him, maybe with his past relationship. But he wants, he has that freedom now to go find that right person. He wants to get married again. He wants to be loved. Like he just, he wants that next commitment level to somebody. He wants that marriage. So he's really thinking about you and he's really wanting to get married. Maybe the other relationships weren't what he was exactly looking for. But when he finds you, he's definitely going to move fast, I think, and take that risk to to end up, uh, you know, taking a chance and, and getting married to you and stuff. And he really likes that. Like, he's like, he's really looking forward to that in his life. So we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So he's really having, he's trusting that the right person is going to come into his life. I definitely feel that this person is in uniform. This is something he either could be in the military too, he could be a cop, he could be a fireman, something to do dressed in, in a uniform of some kind. So flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So maybe he's going to get out and start flirting with people, trying to meet people, and he, or when he really meets you, he's going to really flirt with you a lot and you'll know like, wow, this guy is really into me. Like he's really looking forward to being with me and getting married. So reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. For some of you, 
this could be an ex coming back into your life and you guys can reconcile. Maybe you guys split up and you weren't sure what you wanted to do yet if they wanted to get married to you yet, but maybe they needed this time to really think things over. And maybe he, you're willing to reconsider giving him another chance. So we have a higher view. I feel this person is going to be very intelligent. They're going to see things from a different perspective. So if this is your ex coming back into your life who you want to marry and you haven't had contact with, he's looking at different, he's looking at things differently from a different view. But also to this other one who is either a, like a lawyer or a, a cop, I said, or something to do in government. They are, they're very, very intelligent and they, they're very wise too. So we have the Oracle's gift. So there's something that's coming for you that is not seen yet. So maybe they're not seeing it or you're not seeing it yet, but there's going to be events happening in your life that's going to bring you to this person. So we have shining through. When you know, you know that, that this person is going to be the one for you. You're going to feel such a lightheartedness in your heart. And they're going to, the chemistry is going to be insane between you two. Like I said, just trust the situation is going to unfold naturally and everything is going to work out as it should. It might take a little while to open up this person's feelings though. Because he's kind of like a flower here. See with the petal? That it's going to take a little bit of layers to peel him back because maybe he has a very serious job. But once you break down those walls a little bit, he'll definitely be willing to open and talk to you a lot more. So we have regeneration. So I feel that this person may have had a lot of anger in their past from all the hurt that maybe been through in their past as well, or, and also for you too. But this is gonna be new opportunities, new growth. There's gonna be so much healing light coming in that I feel that it's gonna bring you guys together and heal both of you as well. So it says, truth be told. So yes, there's gonna be someone coming into your life that you may not see right now, but they're going to open up that opportunity for you to love again. And this could happen within the next 14 months as well, I'm getting. So then we have unfinished symphony. So with some of you, there may be some unfinished business with your ex that you want to take care of. And this is something that maybe you, you haven't really forgot about him and this is someone that you actually wanted to marry. He might be coming back into your life because he just he doesn't feel like you guys are finished yet in the relationship and he really wants to marry you. So I'm going to pull some messages here. So we have Hawaii. So you guys may end up going on a trip to Hawaii. You may meet in Hawaii. He wants to know you're beautiful inside and out. He wants to know that you have a beautiful soul. This person's name may be Troy. For some of you, it may happen within the next six months. Also, his name could be Michael. So he's just letting you know, stay strong. He is, he's on his way. Just keep, keep having faith, trust. Some of you may also meet at a party. You may go to a party together as well. His birthday may also be in February, I'm picking up. 
just see what type of energy he wants you to know or message he wants for you to know too here. So he's saying the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So he's saying do not give up on him. Something better is coming for you. So just, just keep the faith and trust. So I'm just going to pull some initials here as well. So we have the letter F. We have N. We have, this is M here. I feel that you could have a lot of fun with this person I'm getting too. So the letter E, H, another H. We have Q, A, and then we have two ands. So this could be some questions here as well. It could have hyphenated names, but he may ask you a lot of questions too when you guys meet. So that could be something. I feel like he, be, he could be a very, like I said, flirty type of guy, very loving, caring, and just likes to give you a lot of kisses, I'm feeling. So I'm going to pull some charms now. So I feel this is a divinely guided connection here. I feel that you guys could have pets as well, or if he has a cat. A lot of changes with the butterflies coming in. So there's new opportunities. Some people might take someone back from the past relationship and reconcile and marry, end up marrying this person. For some of you, like I said, it's a new person. Just don't give up hope here. Always trust with the star here. Everything is going in the right direction for you. Everything is going to be aligning. For some of you, I say don't take back the ex because it could be very toxic. Like I said, this person's going to be very spiritual as well. I feel and it's going to be a lot of new opportunities opening up for you as well. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Welcome everybody picked pile number two with the mermaid tarot and the turquoise mushroom here. So we're going to see what messages we get from your future spouse. So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Swords, and then we have the Queen of Wands. So what I am getting, this person is going to be very generous with money. He's going to have a very well-paying job. He may have a decision to make here. Here with the two of swords. He's kind of stuck right now. I feel maybe in, maybe in his job, he's trying to decide what he wants to do. But he is thinking of you, I feel. You could be the queen of wands here. You're very... I feel you're very independent... You know what you want in your life, and this is something that he's looking for in his own life. And you feel like there's a lot of passion in your life, so there's a lot of causes that you like to help. I feel he could be a fire sign as well. But there's a lot of opportunities, I feel, coming in for you. We have the Hierophant. Temperance, the Knight of Wands, and then we have the Six of Swords. So what I am getting here, this is someone that works really hard. They could work a lot of hours, I feel, as well. Could have their own business. This person also is deciding, maybe he has a hard time deciding where he wants to move when he meets you. If you're going to move with him or you're going to stay where you are. But he's very, he's very athletic, I feel. 
He's really toned body. He has darker hair as well. It's just the juggle between staying or going, like what he meets you about the job, what, what he's going to do. That's like a major thing, but someone's going to be moving regardless to be with each other. So with the six of swords here, I'm feeling like it's... It could be a little some obstacles in the way, but it's just going to take some time to navigate how everything's going to fit together. I feel that you're also manifesting this person as well, that you've been really writing down a lot what you're wanting for in a future spouse, and this is something that's going to start manifesting for you. So we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I feel this is going to be your true love here. Like maybe you've been in love before and same with this person, but this is going to be a different type of love. This is going to be something more pure. Your communication is going to be well. You're going to understand each other in this connection. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So just trust. You need to have trust and faith that this is going to be the right person that's going to be coming to you. He's going to really protect you, I feel, as well. You guys may also like to ride horses as well, I'm getting. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So just go ahead. If you, if you like this person, tell them how you feel. You know, this person's going to really look forward to being with you. I feel like they're just, they just want to settle down and have that stability in their life too because they work a lot and, you know, it's something that they just want to do and spend time with you and just relax and enjoy the little things in life too. So we have ears wide open. So this person is really going to listen to you, I feel. So whatever you have to say to them, they're always taking it in and absorbing. There's going to be great communication between you two. He's always on the lookout too. Like he's always listening to what people are saying, what they're doing, because he observes a lot as well. So we have earth magic. So this person could also be into yoga, very spiritual person, really outdoorsy, I'm feeling as well. And you could be that way as well, one or the other. Take it as it resonates. But there's just going to be this magical connection here. This person could also be a Virgo sign as well, or an Earth sign. Capricorn. One of the Earth signs here. But they should be very grounded, I feel. So we have Close Encounters. When you meet this person, you're going to feel free. And right now, they feel like they're caged up, just mostly working, working. You're going to finally set them free, I think, from this. And really just look forward to the happy times that they get to share with you. Like, it's going to be really meaningful to them. So I'm going to pull some more cards here. So we have Yang. So this person is going to give you everything that you ever wanted in your life. Like this is something that is being manifested. It's coming. I'm letting you know this person is coming into your life. I could say maybe within the next, for some of you within the next month, some within the next 10 months. So we have to be fair. So this person wants everything to be fair between you two. He wants equality. He wants to listen to you, all the give and take. One person's not going to care more about each other than the other. And you guys are just going to really connect on that level. It's going to be a very even relationship. So it says, come to the edge. So you have to be willing to take that chance at love again. It is safe for you to love it saying, so just keep that in mind that everything is going to be okay. You can open your heart to this person. So I'm going to pull some messages here. So 
So we have something about New York. So maybe you guys might go to New York together. You may live in New York. This person is very sweet. He's going to be very romantic, I feel. So we have the name Benjamin. So this person could have been named Benjamin. It says money. This person is very stable in their life. We have eight months. This person could be coming into your life or you may be moving in with them. Lean. So this person could be tall and lean. So it says trust the flow. So this person smells really good too. If you can focus here, smells good. And then we have decisions. So this is going to be the decision where you're going to have to make decide where you guys want to live, what you guys are going to be doing. So I'm going to pull some initials here. So we have the letter Q, Y, B, E, A, K, L, and the letter R. I feel this person does not like liars. Like he won't put up with any lying from anybody. He doesn't play games. He's very serious about everything. And then we have, it spells ear. So he is going to be a very good listener. Like I said, this person is going to be very understanding and a great listener when you have a problem. So we're going to see here what a message here he has to tell you. So it says embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. So you guys are going to find that missing per missing piece that you've been looking for. And this is going to be the first person. He's going to be that that puzzle piece that you looked were looking for and maybe manifesting into your life. So I'm going to pull some charms here. So we have the lock. This person could be, like I said, very closed off. Maybe he's going to listen to you a lot at first and then he's going to start to open up. He, he'll maybe play guitar as well. You guys will really love each other, I feel, a lot the heart, with the two hearts. He could be very musically inclined. He also could be in a band also. That's how you guys maybe meet. And it says here, made with a, I made you smile. So he's gonna make you smile a lot, I feel. It's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a lot of happiness. I feel you guys could also maybe travel maybe to Africa or, or where there's a lot of elephants. He's gonna bring you flowers. He's never gonna turn his back on you. He's gonna be very caring, very loving. He's gonna support you and stand up for you. So we have the cat, he's gonna be very spiritual. And with the coin, like I said, decisions about where you guys are gonna go. It's kind of back and forth here. Sorry about my dogs barking in the back. So just, this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe, thanks. Welcome everybody, you picked pile number three with the Dark Mansion Tarot, and this is with the Adventuring Mushroom. So we're going to see what messages we have from your future spouse. So we have the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Wands. We have the chariot. And we have temperance. So what I am getting here, this person's going to be kind of on guard when you first meet. He's going to be kind of back and forth. I feel because he's going to feel very vulnerable, I think. I think he's have been very hurt in the past. That's why he kind of has his walls up. 
but I feel the more you talk to him and the more he gets to know you, he's going to kind of let those walls down. And then that's when I feel things are going to start moving a little faster between the both of you. We have the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel that this person is very strategic. He's always planning everything. He's very, not obsessive, like OCD, but he just, he knows what he wants in his life and he always has to figure out what he wants, where he's gonna spend his money. This He's very strategic in that way. He wants a relationship and I feel that he's has a very good paying job, but you guys also might meet at work as well. I feel he's going through like a hard time in his life right now or, or he had in the past because he's very with the nine of swords and the nine of wands here he's very guarded he's he's feeling a little bit of sadness right now i feel he's maybe going through a lot in his life so you're just gonna have to give him time but he wants a new relationship he wants time to heal maybe that's why you guys haven't met him yet he also may do something with blueprints, I feel, with his job. Could be an engineer as well, I'm picking up. So we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I feel with him it was his past relationship that he had a lot of deception. People weren't being very honest to him. But he wants to be very honest with you. That's why he wants to be, be very upfront. And that's why maybe he kind of plans things and maybe moves going to move a little bit slower in the relationship. So just give him some time. So getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So yes, really get time to know one another in this relationship before jumping in. Maybe you guys have both been hurt in the past and this is something you guys both want in a relationship as well. But it's just going to take time to get to know each other, move at a little bit slower pace, maybe friends or something. And just really take the time to talk and listen to one another what you both want. So let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So just let it unfold naturally. Don't push things with this person. Take it as it comes. You know, just don't rush into anything. You guys just start even off as friends or something, but this is someone that you're going to end up marrying. Just take it slow. And like I said, it's gonna progress and bloom into something very beautiful. So we have wish upon a star. So this is something that you guys both have wished for. And this is something that's going to happen for you guys. It's going to be very beautiful. You guys are going to get to know one another. You guys are going to end up being married. And this is something that you've wished for your whole life. So we have smoke and mirrors. So maybe in the past, you guys have been hurt in some way and it was just kind of smoke and mirrors. You thought this person was honest with you and they weren't. And that's why the trust is everything into this relationship is going to be very important. Just get time to get to know one another. And I feel with the slow progression is going to lead to something nice. So spirit of gratitude. So you're going to be very thankful that you met this person in your life and that this is someone that's going to be very special to you and they're going to be very honest to you. And this is not going to be someone like from your past. So we have building blocks. So this is going to start off in a very stable way. You guys are going to start things slowly and build up and I feel it's going to be a very happy relationship. You guys are going to have stability. You're going to feel on top of the world when you're with this guy. Everything is just happening at the right pace for you. Everything is just going to move 
great. So all that glitters. I feel that this person or you have been very hurt in the past. You're very guarded. And this is something that's going to take a little bit of time. There's a lot of deception in this past relationship that I'm picking up. But you have to pick up those pieces and start a new relationship and don't bring the past into the new one. So we have happy, happy. So once you get to know each other and you trust one another, you're going to have a really happy birthday with this person. They are going to spoil you, I feel. This person may, may also have been born on the 26th as well. So we're going to see so what messages we have here. So it says, be kind to yourself. So maybe this person's not always kind to himself because he's just been through so much. There could be a birthmark on this person that you'll know that it's this person that you're going to marry. This person likes cats, or you may have cats. This person is extremely kind. He really loves animals too. He has a very good heart. So it says put in the effort. So yes, just put in all the effort. Just let control issues, be, let, let it flow naturally. So we have heartbreak. So this person has gone through a lot of heartbreak in his past. You guys are going to have a date night. So you guys are going to have a lot of date nights together. So this is going to have a few dates before you really start to get serious with one another. His name could be James. He's going to be a little bit anxious and maybe you will too when you first meet, but that's normal. And then we have loving person. This person's a very loving person. So this is something to look forward to here. So let's just get some initials here. So we have the letter X, Q, M, S, X. We could have the letter L, M, and B. This guy does not put up with BS. I can tell you that. Like he does not like people who lied to him, cheat on him. He won't put up with that anymore. And he's trying to release his ex, I feel, from the past of what she's done to him. But he wants a new relationship. He's done with that. So just have to give him time. He is over his ex, though. But it's just he needs to have time to realize who he can trust again. And I think starting off slow with him will build his trust and you guys will have a great relationship. So his message to you, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This person is going to have so much love for you. Like he's, he could even write you poetry. Like he's just, he's so, his love for you is so deep and so caring. So just make sure you guys start off and just let up go of control issues. Just let it flow. So I'm going to pull some charms here. So yeah, this person really likes cats. Like I said, you may as well have cats together. This person never forgets what somebody did to him, but he'll forgive you. But as people with elephants, they'll never forget. They'll always remember. I feel that his relationship was very toxic or like you had a toxic relationship or maybe both of you will take it how it resonates. You're going to be receiving a message from this person shortly, I feel. I guess that some of you may work together. 
like I said, you may have started off as friends and are building on to something more. This is how it could start as well. There's going to be a lot of new changes and just don't give up hope here. Just keep going and this person and you are going to find each other and be happy and have that wonderful life together. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.